Hey everybody, this is Ken. I am back with another video. I haven't did one of these type of videos in a while, uh, shooting it from the inside my home, but I wanted to do this video because I might can help someone who always having this issue when your policy renews after six months. Six months is a long time and I always forget the issue with Tesla insurance dealing with the Apple wallet. After it renews, it don't automatically renew in the Apple wallet. Google wallet may be the same. This is just really for uh, Apple users right now. If you ever run into the issue where your insurance has renewed, you go into your Apple wallet and it's still the old date or it even removes it and you can find it in the expired passes. Let's jump into it. First thing I want to do is bring up a screen recording of my iPhone that I've uh, pre-recorded already so I can make this video easy to edit and just to show you and not tell you. This is an example of the Tesla app right here and then you'll see Tesla insurance. So what I'll do is I click on that and then there's a section that says documents and I'll click on that section in this section, you'll see where it says the ID card, Arizona. This is where when you first set up Tesla insurance, the add to Apple Wallet will be there. OK, and then you just click on it. It automatically add it to Apple Wallet. If you click on the Tesla insurance card, this is an example of how uh, the paperback will look. And then you can just air print it if you have the capabilities to do that. Let's get out of that. You click on declarations page and you will all in the mobile app, you'll have where you can show all of your coverages. OK, just wanted to show you a copy of that. Now let's go to the Apple wallet. The Tesla insurance pass expired for some reason. So I had to go to view expired pass. Once I click on that section, you'll see my old expired Tesla card. What I'll do, I'll click on it and just show you an example of the dates. So it's showing March 16th, 2024 through September 16th of 2024. It's October and there's no refreshed or updated Tesla insurance card in my Apple wallet. So all I have to do is go to the bottom down there to the left and hit delete. And you just delete that card. If you do not delete the card, you will not have the option in the Tesla app to add the more updated renewal of your insurance. So once I do that, I go back to the app, go to documents again, and then you will see it says add to Apple wallet. Simple as that. That is how you do it. As long as that insurance verification, the old policy is in your Apple wallet, either via being active or being in the expired part, you won't be able to add it. It will not show up. So you see there, and then I'll just show you how you just click to add it and then it'll pop up like any other thing you're adding to the, your Apple wallet. And there it is. And that's with the updated dates. So you'll see there September 16th, 2024, all the way through March 16th of 2025. And all I'm gonna have to do now is just hit add. And then it goes away and you see as an example, it's not available anymore in that section where you get your updated insurance card for your wallet, it will disappear. But if I went back in there and deleted it, guess what? It'll pop right back in there. So maybe that's just a bug, but this is an example of kind of how it looks in the cards of Apple Wallet. It's very frustrating. I wish Tesla would maybe update the app or I don't know if it's on Apple side or if it's on Tesla side, but my previous insurance, which was State Farm, I never had to worry about it. Long as I added that mobile insurance card in my Apple Wallet, it always auto updated from what I can remember. If you have any questions, please let me know. This Ken, I'll see you in the next video.